South Providence was built with the practice of the future in mind. We really emphasize team-based training and team-based practice. Um, you work with um, advanced practice nurses and dietitians and behavioral health consultants all uh, at a fingertips reach. Um, we have our own uh, team for residents where the focus is on both the best practice possible and top tier resident education. Um, I really liked the one-stop shop setup for patients. I liked the um, efficiency ab aspect as far as our, when our patients come in, most of the things that they need and I would like for them to do that day, I can get done usually here in clinic. So labs and some basic imaging and we do uh, mammograms in-house and there's a pharmacy here so they can pick up their meds and get the vaccines. And I just felt like it would be good for me to learn how to be really efficient in the care that I'm providing and help patients um, get done what they need done. And so I felt like that would be a really good um, place to learn how to be efficient like that. And um, I like also that we have um, behavioral health consultants here that patients can see sometimes even the same day if they're having an acute mental health problem. And I feel like they really would benefit from talking to someone. They can be seen here in clinic. Um, oftentimes we can give a warm handoff or we can go talk to the behavioral health consultant, bring the consultant back to meet the patient. It just seems like a good um, way to make sure that the patient's needs are met. As someone who wants to practice sports medicine as a specialty, um, I wanted uh, the, the quick use of the radiology um, department here with x-rays and things like that, as well as um, exposure to the ultrasound. And I knew a lot of the sports medicine doctors attended here in this clinic. So after residency at South Providence, our residents have moved on to do a variety of different things. We cover pretty much the gamut of fellowship opportunities and job opportunities. Our residents have gone on to do sports and medicine fellowships, women's health fellowships, obstetric fellowships, and academic fellowships. We've had residents who went into rural practice and did full spectrum family medicine. We've had residents go into academic practice, uh, more suburban practice. I think pretty much anything you can do after residency, our residents have done it. I, I feel like when our residents graduate, they feel pretty comfortable taking care of pretty much anything and being confident going into a fellowship if they want to do so.